guys, it's Brandon, aka The Workman's Pomp, and today I wanted to do something, I haven't done a follow-up on a really, really, really long time, and that is beard maintenance and care. Um, now this is going to kind of be the full, someone with a, trying to do a full beard maintenance, and kind of almost like a COVID-19 maintenance, um, just go through. Now this is all off the top of my head, so I apologize if it's all scattered. If you have any questions or if you want to add something below, uh, feel free to. But first and foremost, I'm going to start with the masks. Now, you can see right here, it might be hard to tell, there's these divots in my beard. There's like a little poof spot up here, divot right here. And uh, you'll notice if you wear a mask and you have a full beard, you'll get these like divot lines in your beard. There's a lot of other people I've noticed, and I'm gonna put a picture on the screen in a couple of seconds, that have their these beard lines, and you can see it in the picture. They're like these like divots that go right here. And I know a lot of people, eh, they don't mind them. Uh, me personally, I at least on me, I think they look tacky. I think this looks tacky. Um, having your normal beard like waves look fine, but having these like weird divots, especially after you wear a mask, just looks, I think, hella tacky. Now, what that comes from is when you get out of the shower or when you're doing your beard maintenance throughout the day, you're just combing it straight down. That's what you're doing. You can still see the divots are still there. There's a divot there. There's some divots there. I'm combing down, but they're not really coming out. And what's happening is the hair along where your chin's at is going down right here when you comb it down you're you're basically training your beard to go down that way when you're wearing a mask you're training it to go down that way as well all day now i found a solution at least that worked for me pretty well um and that is i have a denman nine row brush and i usually like to brush my beard out with it every once in a while some people um, you know, like different types of brushes. You can still see there's the divots in there, but I'll brush my beard out with it. What I had found that works really, really good for getting rid of these divots is to put the brush in. You can do this with a, uh, something else, like a, a comb, you know, something like this, but I find something with like a nine row. I've seen people use those like twisty brushes that like have them all the way around, like the cylindrical brushes. This just works for me to get these out. Now what I'll do is I'll put it up here this way and I'll twist out like this. And usually what I do is I start up here. When I'm grooming my beard also, when I'm trimming and doing all sorts of stuff, I tend to wear a beanie and a lighter colored shirt just so that I can see what I'm doing. Granted, a lighter color shirt, like a white shirt would work better, but this is what I had. Um, but I try to keep the beanie because <laughs> you can see my hair is like really, really long uh, right now. And so it helps me keep my sideburns and these areas out of my beard area so I can just trim those up kind of at the end if I want to taper my beard into it. Now, what I do, see, here's the waves, is I take it in like this and I just twist it outward. And you can feel it too. Now it's not going to destroy your beard. Um, if you do it lightly, there's no beard hair in there. And, um, yeah, I've seen some people, and I'll just go across the whole entire thing. I've seen that some people like to really, they do like a blow dryer and stuff. I don't personally use a blow dryer on my hair, uh, or my beard because I feel like it just like dries the hair out. But... Basically what I do is I just twist this whole entire thing out like this And you can see my beard is naturally waving inward, but these problem areas That have divots go away and then what I will do is I will get myself a beard balm and uh, I had gotten a Duke Cannon uh, beard balm beard wash and beard oil set for Christmas, but any sort of beard balm that isn't hyper aggressive. You can take a little bit in and put it in your beard um, after you get it curled up and then recurl it one more time and then just lightly hit it with a brush like this. And you'll see there's still some divots there. And especially after 
um, a full day of wearing a mask, you're gonna wanna wash your beard, get it out of the shower so it's hot and relaxed. I still, I got off work and I started doing this. So, you know, you're still gonna see some minor divots. But when looking at my beard in comparison to what it was when you first saw it, which was kind of frumpy from wearing a mask all day, it looks a lot differently. It looks a lot better, rounder, fuller, and uh, you know, the divots are like not showing as much. Now, like I said, what you're gonna wanna do is retrain your beard. And by using, doing the twist method after a shower, after you let it dry and then your hair is just doing whatever, twist it up, put in some beard balm, apply it, twist it again, and then just brush it down slightly, you'll be retraining your beard to get rid of those divots. And if you don't have beard divots, but you're wearing a mask all the time, this is definitely something that you might consider trying to do if the beard divots bother you. Now, overall, that's one of the main things that I've seen happen during COVID. Now, when I'm grooming a longer beard, it depends on your face shape. A lot of people might have different face shapes. I have a wider face shape. So what I'll typically do at the beginning is uh, what they say, line yourself up. So you can see these right here. Um, so you can still see there's still some divots, but if I just got out of the shower, they would go away from the mask. But the main set here is gone and all I have is my wavy beard for the most part. So some people, if you have a, a bigger face or you uh, have a bigger jaw like mine, which is more square, they like to do a straight line across. That's what I do. It makes your face look a little bit thinner. It makes it look sharper. Um, some people like to do, like use one of these. This one's called the Beard Bro, but there's a bunch of them. What you would do is you stick it up like this and line it up with your mustache. And some people like to do like, sorry, I'm putting it on wrong. Uh, you can use it either way, to be honest with you. But uh, you can just curve it in. So you have like a, a, a round, kind of like a, a rounded edge. For me, I keep them straight. But if you were to do a rounded edge like this, you can get a guide to make it look really sharp. You can just hit it with, um, if you have a beard trimmer, I'm sure you do. You can just hit it with that and then just follow it. If you're like me um, and you want a straight line, what you can do is you can use, um, I think the sharpest way to do it is with a straight edge. You're going to want to look up how to use these things, but the minor tips I can give you when trimming is to comb this area down. If you're having a hard time, I've been doing it for so long by sight that I can just put it up and kind of line it up by sight. But if you're having a hard time, put your comb, don't press it up hard like this so you can see that my fat's going over there. Just lightly up here, hit it with a trimmer, and then go along to make a sharp edge. You can do it on this side too. When using a straight edge, the only advice I can give you Practice, pull your skin down tight like this and just barely touch it. And I, you can see I got the excess skin. I do it in three parts. This part, the middle part, and then right up here. So I'll go like this, then the middle area, and then right up there at the edge. You can see it's a straight line and that will get up all the little scragglies. Then I do it for the other side here it's almost by like feel now. Upper part, middle part, lower part. That helps me line up my beard. It takes some time getting used to one of these. I use the ones with the uh, disposable, although I do have a lot of strops uh, and some old uh, sharp ones. I just find these are easier to use, especially during COVID. You just take the blade out and you're fine. Um, you can get this on Amazon. Same with the Denman 9 row. Everything I'm using today you can get on Amazon. I'm just going to tell you right then and there. So I've lined up my beard and that's uh, that's all good. You know, it looks a little bit straighter, a little bit of a sharper edge. My area right here is a little bit shallow, but I try to keep a line. Like I said, some people will just trim it down right here. You can see this is thinner. Some people will trim it down like that. Personally, like I said, if you have a wider face like mine, it's gonna look a lot sharper to have a straight line and let your beard kind of grow up like that. That's just me. 
That's how I work. Now, for this particular part here, I will, um, after I'm done curling <laughs> this, you can continue to curl. I just think, honestly, this feels good. It gets the skin up. It exfoliates. It gets your beard shape out, so you can kind of see, like, oh, what's my beard like? Because some people's beards will grow in in different areas. Um, some will grow in patchy. Mine grows in patchy under here. But once you get to, like, a longer length like this, you can see it's a little uneven at the bottom, too, how it grows in. Um, but once you get to a certain length, you really can't tell um, once it, you get, like, a longer growth going. Now, for the sides, I don't let my beard grow straight out like this. You'll notice it's kind of going down a little bit more. Um, I try to keep the sides in a little bit, not much, but I, I try to just keep them from growing out so much and poofing straight out because that's how mine used to do, and I, I just think that looks a little tacky, at least on me. So what I'll do is after I roll my beard out, I'll just take this down like this with a boar hair brush. This is by Zeus, you can get this on Amazon. This is just a pure boar hair brush. Works good when you're using your oil. It works good. Feels good on your beard too. So, the way that my beard is working, it's working a little bit differently today. Like I said, some areas will come in. What I'll do is I'll get a hair trimmer. This one is a wireless one. Got it on Amazon. I'll put the adjustable blade to all the way up now you can do it halfway you can do it all the way down it just depends but i find that if you're starting doing this my best tip i can give you is to start with this all the way up so that if you mess up like you won't be taking as much off now what i do is i'll turn it on put it right here and you can see how there's like scragglies on the side and i just go i'll go straight down and just trim up those scragglies um and I only go going down like this because if you go up, you'll just take chunks out. And that's the, the biggest rule I can tell you is that just go down. And, and if you're looking to grow your beard out a little bit thicker and longer, because I'm going to keep growing this out, um, the best I can tell you to do is before you start doing these tips, you're going to want to at least have like maybe three months of beard growth. So anyways... I'll just take this and then I go by sight. Usually I'll put it right up against my temple. I just kind of go down. You can see a couple of things been taken off. You can hear it. It's just very light. And you can get, if you have like frays that come out at the bottom, you can go straight down and get those out. And it'll taper it in, make it look a little bit cleaner on the side. You can also go along the side like this, just get some you know, extra growth if, growth if you find some poofies. I personally don't care about poofies right here, just on the side, because it, it will make the shape look like this, where like most people want their beard to kind of go like right about here and poof out. Now you might be thinking I trimmed this weird, by the way, this is just where one of my beard, like my beard kind of like grows shallow. There's a patch right there. So don't worry, I didn't like, <laughs> I didn't like take a chunk out here. This is just a, a patchy beard area. And that's the other thing, is that you'll kind of learn as you're trimming, you'll learn where all your patches are at. So on this side, you noticed I went a little bit quicker. It's because that area already looks a little bit trimmer because of my patch there. So I don't really have to mess with it as much. Um, okay, so I did the sides. Typically what you can do too here um, for your neckline, what I like to do is I like to do loser, put it right up against here where my sideburns are at and connect and that's where I want my beard line at so everything below this like just the shallow stuff you can see there's some like minor growth down here for me personally I'll keep this beard line that I have going like right two fingers above my Adam's apple a lot of people like to have it go further down that's cool you can do that too it's up to you I usually take like, I well, you can see kind of how it used right here. My beard growth on my neck is like super shallow. So I took two fingers up right here, which is a little bit like this, kind of goes with this. And then I just trim down. I'm not gonna show you shaving my neck, but if you have a lot of growth down there and this is your first time trimming and you're not like doing upkeep like me, you can just buzz it along. You can also use one of these. Put it like this and you'll have a beard line. 
you know, they all of them have different ways. They'll have instructions on how to do your neckline. But I find that two fingers, like either a finger or two in the middle of like, here's the Adam's apple. So one finger is on the Adam apple, one finger is like above it. You could even do this, but I just find that this is easier for visual. Anything below that you can cut. Um, you can let it grow out too. I'm just telling you how I do my beard. Everyone has their own opinion. So at this point we did the sides. We did the line. I told you about the frumpy stuff, which I know it doesn't look like it works because I just got done with work, but out of the shower, you're gonna have a different story. And then um, I told you about hitting some of the sides a little bit while you're going down if you want to. So the next thing you can do is your mustache. Some people, when doing it, will keep it right at the lip like me, I, or keep it like right here at the lip. I think when you have a bigger beard, it looks kind of weird to keep it right at the lip. So for me, I'll let it grow down a little bit into my mouth. And what you can do is, I'm just going to hit this real quick so you can see. That helps. <laughs> Since I'm this close, you can see the, the beard waves come out. Then when you put beard, uh, when you put the beard bomb in there, it'll keep it trained this way. So what you can do here for this, you can take your trimmer and just go straight with your beard line, just like this. What I tend to do is put this part all the way down and I'll, I'll go like this, like a U shape very lightly. Let's go like this. And mostly, you want that for the edges down here so they don't get in your mouth. And then, I kind of trimmed my mustache recently so it's not bad, but typically that's what you do. For me, you can go like this. I know some people like to go like this, but like I said, I don't prefer going up with my beard. I feel like you can get stuff caught and have big chunks taken out. So I prefer just going like this. So that would be the mustache. Um, typically, I will trim my mustache on this particular. I have a Remington um, beard trimmer that you've seen in the past. The model number is MB4045. Like I said, you can use that. Um, all this stuff you can get in Amazon. So um, I will hit this with a five. Now, some of these trimmers, they also have clipper numbers. I will just find a length that I find comfortable and what you can do is you can start with a guard that's very high or in this case this uh, one goes up to nine. You could start there which is absurd but still work your way down. Only going down don't go up because you'll take too much off. Work your way down see how it looks in the mirror see if it looks weird. Uh, for me I found that going with a five with this particular model is just thick enough to where it still connects and looks like it's like all one piece. Um, but we'll get it out of my mouth and like thin the beard too in a nice way. Uh, thin the mustache area in a nice way so it's not feeling super heavy. Um, I feel if I go lower than that, like with a four, this will look like thinner, kind of almost like your eyebrows and it kind of stands out. So this is something that you're gonna have to find with your particular beard, your mustache and how it connects. Some people's mustaches don't connect down like this. Some people have a full beard that goes across like this. It really just depends. I'm um, just telling you off of my, the top of my head how it works for me. But I do like trimming the bulk down. Another tr tip you can do is you can do this. Put your comb in here and then just take it up like that. And just trim like the little pieces that come out. Like I said, it's all up to sight and preference. If you're a beginner at this, I would say use a guard instead. Use like a beard trimmer or one of these with a guard and start at the top and work your way down. It seems obsessive, but really with the guard starting at the top with this or a beard trimmer starting at the top, you really only have to do it once and then you know what looks good with your beard and then you can touch it up every single time. So um, that's what I suggest for the mustache area. A curve down, trimming the bulk down, but so that it still looks connected and good. You can also let it grow out and use mustache wax and uh, wax it up if you want to. That's your preference. I don't personally um, like dealing with mustache wax that much anymore. So I find that this is um, the easiest way. So then typically what you'll want to do when you get in the shower um, is you'll want to use a beard wash. Don't use regular shampoo. Don't use regular soap. I wash my beard 
once every three to four days with the beard wash because um, you don't want to strip it of all of its natural oils but you'll want something that's specifically designed for beards. So like I said, I've been using this um, Duke Cannon one. I'm not sponsored by Duke Cannon. I just so happened to get a set with the oil, the wax, and this for Christmas. So I've just been trying it out. But any beard wash that you research or beard wash that you like, use it once every couple of days. Get your beard nice and washed. When you get out of the shower, what I like to do is add a couple of drops of beard oil. Once again, this is from the Duke Cannon. Um, couple of drops will do even for a beard my big uh, or even for a beard my size you don't want to like drown your beard in oil this will just replenish the oils um, and then will help the skin underneath when applying the beard balm or when applying the beard oil use a boar hair brush this will help it get underneath and get into the skin it'll feel really good at this point you can brush it under like this work it in massage it in with your hands you know you'll get in there don't be afraid to like really get in here when you're putting the oil in i'm not going to put the oil in because it isn't time for me yet i'm going to do it after i get out of the shower so this would be your typical thing that you want to do you want to wash your beard once every couple of days then massage your beard oil in when you get out of the shower or after your beard dries whatever feels easier for you but i feel like it it's easier to massage it in after you get out of the shower if you break out or if it gets in your pores then do it once your beard's dry brush it in brush it down brush it underneath you know try to distribute the uh the beard oil everywhere if you have a, a sensitivity to um, strong scents, don't put the beard oil, oil in your mustache. Um, find an unscented one if you're gonna put it in your mustache because having that up in your nose and then wearing a mask all day will F you up, son. So then you got your stuff in and I know at this point you're like, oh man, I, uh, you brushed down, Brandon. You were saying don't brush down because that trains your hair. Well then out of the shower, even when your hair is still not completely dry, you wanna cur curl your beard up like this after you apply your beard oil. And you can kind of see what your shape's looking like too when you're like this. And then I'll just let my beard dry. I know it sounds weird. You're walking around, maybe your girlfriend or your wife's like, what the F are you doing? Just let it dry like this. Come back after maybe 10, 15 minutes, apply your beard balm, put it in, go down like this. Um, when particularly doing the beard balm at night, for you're gonna be doing it for the curls. I don't need beard balm in the day because I trim my beard in the sides and I trim it around so it's not like going crazy and I don't have to tame it because I've trimmed it in a manner, I've tapered it up in a manner that works fine for me. Um, so you're using it for the waves. So put it in, in the wavy areas, usually right here, right here, and right here are the wavy areas around your chin line. So you'd put it in, you'd curl it up one more time. This is after your beard is dried and you come back to it. You'd curl it up one more time, and then you just do either the brush or the wide end of a comb. Very lightly go over, you're barely touching it. Get it to go down. Then just knock it down with your hands like this all around. That'll keep your beard curls and the waves in there tamed. And when you're um, you know, going through your day, or you do it at night. It just depends on what you want to do it. Some people might say, well, I don't want to put beard wax in at night because I roll around on it. Um, you know, I have my face on the pillow and it crumps my beard all up. It's like, okay, well then do it in the morning. Do it whatever is convenient for you. You know how you sleep. All of this is just the techniques that work for me. Timing might not work for you, but this is the techniques that I do to get my beard looking somewhat decent so that I don't have to go and have someone trim my beard, give me a pencil mustache, and take too much off. This is just my quarantine counter to mask beard as well as trying to maintain a full beard in quarantine. So after you've put in, so at this point, you've taken your shower, you've put in your beard oil when you got out, you've massaged it in, you've uh, turned your beard up, you let it dry, come back you put in some beard balm you you put it up one more time so now you know your beard waves are set you have put it down like this at this point if you were doing beard maintenance at this point you'd be ready to do the downward trimming on your beard after it's dried never do it out straight out of the shower because your hair is super relaxed and you don't want to do that so you would go straight down do that area 
do your line right here, do your mustache. You can hit this area if you want with like a regular razor. Do this area on your neck right here. Some people like to go straight across down here for wispies. That would be the final thing I would say. I don't do it, I just let my beard grow out down here. But you can go straight across. See how there's like some wispies? You can just go right and give it kind of a square line like that. I do it very loosely, touch my neck here, so that I'm not taking big chunks out of my beard. I would suggest be very careful with this. If you want the growth to come in even and like one side's growing longer than the other, you can just go straight across and then round up if you want. Do that once every beard trim, beard maintenance like this. The oil and then the beard, if you have the crimps in your beard, the waves, the oil and the, the balm use every day. The oil you should at least use every day, I feel like, that's just me because um, my beard's getting wet and I use it out, out of the shower and it, it's fine because I only use like a drop or two. So the oil use every day, beard wax you can use every day if you want to, if you're trying to train, trim your beard if you're growing it out, maybe once a month, twice a month, do the line things, do this. If you want to do this, I'm up in the air on it, I don't really care. Um, but if you have a crazy wispy beard down here, you know, do your neckline. A lot of people will try to grow a beard right here at their, like right at their jaw up here. And that's what doesn't make it look full on the bottom. So wash your beard every couple of days. You don't want to strip it of the natural oils every single day. That's what the beard oil is for too when you wash it. And that's typically what I do. Um, up here too, you can, um, you know, same thing that I was doing with the mustache. You can take a really tall guard and go down until you find a length that works for you. But quite frankly, if you don't feel comfortable, next time you get a haircut, just have them blended into your beard. You can also, um, if you're really, really scared, you can curl this up like this when you're doing the curl up like up here. And um, if you're really, really scared about having your beard tapered in, you can take your um, a pair of scissors if you want and you can trim a little bit of these wispies like this so you could curve it down like that a little bit see how there's like some wispies you can curve it down a little bit that's up to you now everybody's gonna have an opinion some people might say don't trim the sides like that let it grow out don't do this don't do that that's fine like I am totally up to hearing everybody's opinion um, especially when it comes to beards it's the main thing here is that everybody's beard is different everybody's beard is gonna look different and grow differently like I have weird patches here here I have a patch here this side grows in thicker than this side so it's just like you're gonna have to trim differently it's just the way that it is so my advice would be to you is to if you're looking to trim your beard or maintain it go through the steps I did, find out what works for you, find out what doesn't. You can always grow your beard back. And if you're not sure, doing nothing at all or just a very, very little bit at a time is the way to go. Because if you do too much, you'll take too much off. So starting with a very tall guard, a very high guard, or just taking very little small things and then looking at it and combing it out. Find what's safe for you and then act on it and get into a routine. Right now, I mean, my beard isn't perfect. I just started doing the wave thing a little while ago and it's been working a lot better than it used to. Like I said, you saw the picture earlier. Um, you can see there's a lot of, you know, people can get a lot of waves in their beards. But to me, this is what's worked for me to have a big, nice, not overly bulbous growing out, but like a nice round shaped beard that slims my face a little bit and just goes well with my body type and my face. You yourself are going to want to experiment and of course if there's anybody who is um, you know has a different way or has any other suggestions please leave it in the comment section below. Add anything you want any sort of suggestions for people link to your page if you have a video I'm just telling you what works for me during COVID. So any suggestions are welcome and I hope you have a good one.